Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. This evening I sat and watched the Games Workshop livestream because I was excited and intrigued by the announcement of a new version of Kill Team. And... I don't know. I think I might be over it already. Now, don't get me wrong, they showed the new Kill Team launch box and it looked amazing. It features Orc Commandos and Death Corps of Krieg teams and they look really good. And there's a whole bunch of new Orc themed terrain as well. Some of that terrain looked like it might have been the stuff from Speed Freaks, I would have to get my box out to check, but there was some great ramshackle shantytown type elements as well to give your battlefields a very orky vibe. It all looked cool, but I could feel myself cooling off on the idea even as I watched. Anyway, this live stream was Octarius themed and they showed off some very exciting new orc miniatures, including Death Copters, which we haven't seen for a long time, but it was the Kill Team stuff that I was most excited about. During that part of the event, I was jotting down notes on the things that were most interesting to me, so I'm going to go through those notes quickly here. First of all, they didn't really go into the rules. Seems like they didn't really know too much about the rules, although of course they knew plenty about the miniatures. The rules don't look like they have shifted into Warcry territory quite as much as I thought they might, although that's hard to say at the moment. The game is still using regular D6 at least, and there were still plenty of tokens and a deck of tactical ops cards. Strangely, rather than using inches for distances, they have included a bunch of measuring gauges with different length sides labelled with shapes, and all distances are defined by those instead. It seems to be the case that you're going to have movement stats that are like two squares or one hexagon, and I'm not sure why they would have gone with that option. Maybe I'm missing something obvious. Anyway. The main focus of the live stream was the miniatures and other goodies you get in the box. You get the dice tokens, cards, but it doesn't look like there are any unit cards included. There's the core rules, an Octarius manual, dice, and no D10s this time it seems. The terrain, 10 orcs with a squig and a grot, and 10 death core with a medic bag? Looks more like a cooler, maybe the death core are really into tailgating. You also get a board which is 30 inches by 22 inches and it does appear to be a board not a paper mat. The miniatures it should be noted are not push fit. They did say how many components were on the sprues um, and I can't remember exactly what they said but it was well over 150 components for each of the kill teams. So there's lots of options and plenty of shovels for the death core. Of course they didn't mention price. They never do. I think you're looking at a kit comparable to Warcry Catacombs, so I'm guessing we'll be looking at £125, that seems to be the new price point for box sets like these. But while they didn't mention the price, they did share two very important bits of information, and two things that probably sapped my interest more than anything else. Firstly, it's a limited box. I think we all suspected this. What we don't know at the moment is whether it's Cursed City Limited or Dominion Limited. I suspect this set will be much more desirable than Dominion. It has stacks of orky terrain, new death core, new orc commandos, and it's 40k. I don't think this is going to sit around like Dominion has. They will definitely be doing the queuing system on the Warhammer web store when this goes up for pre-order. They haven't confirmed yet when that will be. And I think there is a strong potential that this is going to sell out fast. I know I said that about Dominion and was dramatically wrong, but I don't know. I remember Shadow War Armageddon. This box set is going to work out good value for the terrain alone compared to what GW will eventually sell the parts for separately. And that's another important note. They have confirmed that everything in this box will be available separately later on. It's just going to work out much more expensive to buy it separately. The final thing I noted down is something they blurted out at speed. The box set only has rules for the two included factions. If you want to play any other team, you have to buy a separate compendium that will be released at the same time the launch box goes up for pre-order. So, if you're interested in this game, but you also want to use miniatures you already have for your other forces, you're already looking at two day one purchases, either the launch box and the compendium, or at the very least a rules book and the compendium. I'm sure many people will be fine with that, but the last Kill Team core rules book had rules for loads of existing teams as well, and I find it disappointing that Games Workshop haven't done that again. 
But anyway, that's pretty much everything I jotted down during the presentation. Obviously, I haven't covered everything that was said, but these were the things that made my ears prick up among the general chatter, and I wanted to put my initial thoughts in a video. Let me know in the comments what you think about it all, because that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for listening. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.